वेलकम एवरी वन टू लेक्चर नंबर थर्टी टू इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट देर आर सर्टन डायरेक्टिव विच हैड बिन डिस्कस आउटसाइड द पार्ट फोर ऑल्सो दैट इज आउटसाइड द डी पी एस पी सेक्शन ओके एंड रिगार्डिंग दैट रिगार्डिंग दैट सुप्रीम कोर्ट हैज ऑल्सो गिवेन दैट इफ इवन इफ दो डायरेक्टिव आर गिवेन आउटसाइड द पार्ट फोर वी हैव टू गिव सिमिलर अटेंशन टू ऑल दो पार्ट एज एज वी हैव टू रीड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन as we have to read constitution all together constitution read together so this was the voice of the supreme court regarding this dpsp that is outside the uh, part 4 okay so what are the articles that are present uh, what are the art, uh, what are the articles that denote the directive that is uh, mentioned outside the part 4 so these are the article 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 335 article 3 article article 350a article 350a and uh, and 351 okay article 335 350 and 351 are the directive that is present outside the part 4 what is this article we we'll see article 335 tells that while inviting application let me uh, let me uh, write it this article 335 tells that the claims the claims of the members of the scheduled caste members of the scheduled caste and scheduled tribes shall be taken into consideration okay so if there is any claim that is made by the scheduled caste and scheduled tribe regarding any uh, application for the government jobs like that so if there is any claim that is made by the sup, uh, uh, mm, that is uh, scheduled caste and scheduled tribes uh, shall be shall be that it must be taken in, into consideration so shall be taken into the consideration okay consistently there is a condition on that okay consistently with the maintenance of whenever such condition is uh, listened or, or 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 taken so there is a co uh, co consideration that efficiency should not be compromised of for the administration okay if the efficiency of the administration is going to be compromised by by considering the claims for the supreme court and so Uh, sorry um, uh, by taking the consideration for the scheduled caste and scheduled tribe then that claim may not be implemented or may not be considered okay it should not harm the efficiency of the organization let us suppose if we are given reservation in any research and organization center science research and organization center so what does it mean we are playing with uh, we are not giving proper attention we are not giving proper attention to the knowledge because these fields are completely respective with the knowledge perspective who have a knowledge who are uh, capable for it they 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 will be selected and they will do the uh, do the job uh, for the research for the uh, nation and all okay so that kind of uh, that kind of uh, reservation should not be provided that kind of uh, uh prioritization can't be provided let us suppose in uh, military also if we are giving reservation for the scheduled caste and scheduled tribe irrespective of the physical fitness and all then uh, what kind of security we are providing for the nation okay so yes if the efficiency for the administration is not going to be compromised then the claims that has been made by the uh, sc and sts will be taken into the consideration so that is the overall point so let me mentioned what exactly this article 335 tells so con uh, consideration consistently with the maintenance of consistently with the maintenance of efficiency of 
administration efficiency of administration in the making of appointments in the making of appointments to service and post in connections to service and posts in connection with the affairs of union or state union or state understood that the claims of the members of the sc and st shall be taken into the consideration consistently with the maintenance of efficiency that will taken into into the consideration along with the maintenance of the efficiency for the administration will be also taken into the consideration then in the making of uh, what in, in what cases in making of appointment for the service and post in the connection with the affairs of unit so in relating with the government jobs and all yes the claims for the uh, sc and st will be taken into the consideration but efficiency should not be going to be compromised at any scenario then only these thing will be applicable okay so this was about the article 335 that was one of the directive principle for the state okay so a state can take into the consideration only if the efficiency is not going to com compromise yes a state will take the consideration for the whatever the claim that they want by the cns state can do so so that is one of the directive now what is the another directive 350a what is this 350a we'll see this 350a tells that the linguistic minorities present in the state then every state and every local authority within the state to provide adequate facilities for instruction in their mother tongue and primary stage of the education to the children belonging to the linguistic minority groups let us suppose what happened in uh, bihar and jharkhand what happened when uh, when we when the children goes to uh, english medium school okay in the english medium school teacher used to teach them english first they start with the hindi one okay they start to teach okay this is the sentence you can speak in this way when you want to speak in english okay so what is happening the mother tongue of bihar is hindi so what is happening first they start teaching those kind of children with their language hindi to understand what language they are going to take as the primary instruction they the teacher teaches the student in their in their mother tongue language okay and slowly slowly they uh, make them train in speaking and understanding english language even they start to write in english okay so that that the apply the same logic as uh, what are the example i have said to you apply the same logic with the minority one okay let us suppose in the tribal area there is a minority language okay now the children of those tribal area should they need an education let us suppose they have a linguistic minority language language a okay now they now there is no textbook there is no high uh, textbook like science textbooks of class 9th and 10th those language obviously this language is in a minority nobody is going to print that uh, uh, science book in their language okay and most of all that many people don't know the language so that's why they also will, will not be able to print uh, print the textbook a uh, science and all advanced level thing in their language so now what happened those minority people have to learn that language let us suppose the book is written in english language so now that minority people minority linguistic people have to learn that learn the english language so how they will start so learning that english language they have to they must need a one teacher who will teaches them in their own minority language as a primary education and slowly and steadily they will start to learn the english language okay so that kind of instruction is given in the 350 that kind of directive given in 350 that a state should provide a teacher who will teach those students in their minority linguistic language for the further educa education okay so what this 350a tells that a state and 
every local authority state and every local authority within the state to provide adequate facilities adequate facilities for instructions in the mother tongue in the mother tongue at the primary stage oh in the mother tongue at the primary stage of education to children belonging to the linguistic linguistic minority groups okay whatever i have said it is same thing mentioned the state and every local authority within the state to provide adequate facilities for instruction in the mother tongue at the primary stage for education of the children belonging to the linguistic minority group so that a state has to provide that facilities for the linguistic minority group okay so that is one directive for the uh, state now what is article 351 what is that another uh, directive that is given uh, to the state through article 351 we'll see see what this article 351 tells it shall be the duty of the union to promote the spread of the hindi language and to develop it so that it may serve as a medium of expression for all the elements of the composition culture of india now whenever the question being asked like where is the constitution is there a, hindi is mentioned as a national language no no it is nowhere mentioned that hindi will be the national language so is there any importance that is given to the hindi language yes there is importance that is given to the english la hindi language which article implies that this is the article 351 where there is special priority that is given to the hindi language the main method is that is spread that hindi language to all over the nation so that there will be one common language that everyone must know okay okay so uh, english is not that they have provided that kind of thing priority but hindi is given it the priority level okay now what is this article 351 we'll see okay union this article 351 tells that union to promote a spread of hindi language union central government has to do to promote and that's why when you go to all any state of the india any state there is a possibility that no one knows english even at the very uh, uh, very uh, far uh, local kind of tribal area kind of if you go there there may be a possibility that don't know english but there is a high chance that someone will be there who knows hindi okay because that much is spread hindi is that much is spread yes there are sometimes clashes happening in the south from the karnataka region and the, and tamil nadu region and all like we uh, love our kind we love our language and all that kind of things are clashes are happening but these are a very small section of the society that we should not bother and that kind of things is always uh, if the society is there that kind of things will always be there okay so we should exclude that part as a india st india is nothing but a unification of a state okay it is not that uh, we have a contract with the state like a usa have usa have a contract with the state we don't have a that kind of things we are india is nothing but a unification of a state okay so everyone is equal everybody is free to go to the any uh, uh, region of the country free free of movement and all we have that fundamental rights and we have studied those things okay so article 351 union to promote hindi language and to develop it as a and to develop it as a medium of expression
to develop it as a medium of expression of all the elements of all the elements of the composite culture of india okay this india is a mixture of culture there is no single culture that's why it is composite composite culture of india not a single culture is there so we should union that central government should try to promote hindi language and to develop a medium of expression of all the elements of the composite culture of the society okay all the composite culture because india is not a single culture uh, region state okay it it has a diversification okay so that's why there is a as per 351 the directives have been given that union should promote hindi language as a medium of expression to the various element of the composite culture of the india okay so this was the extra the directives that has given outside the part 4 this was all about the, okay this three article that tells about the and uh, that is the directives to the state one is 335 then 350a and 351 335 leads with the that even if uh, if fsc and st as demanding something related to the government job and all we can take into the constitution but the efficiency should not be compromised 350a tells that a state and every local authority within the state provide adequate facilities for the instruction to give in the primary education for the minority linguistic region and all and yes and 351 tells that we should promote hindi language to uh, develop a medium of expression for all the elements in a composite culture of the uh, india okay this was all about in the directive uh, that is provided outside the part 4 of the constitution okay so the the directives com contained in the article 335 350a and 351 uh, 351 are not included in the part 4 courts have court court supreme court high court like that courts have given similar attention to them meaning that all parts of the constitution should be read together okay this was all about in this lecture we'll connect in the comment next uh, lesson uh, till now if you have any doubt please put it over in the comment section even though if you want to connect me with please connect me with me on my social media handle thank you okay why is it not getting paused